Um, or she'll stay here with a friend and she's equally as happy to do that. Okay, I'm gonna dive into the questions because this is a long video. <laughs> okay, responses. She's so young, I can't believe she's having puppies. Ruffy's not that young. She may look like a puppy, but that is the way that this is designed. So another reason I wanted the 15 pound doodle is because she perpetually looks like a puppy. She'll have this puppy look forever. It's the fur, it's the, I always say snout ratio, the ratio of her nose to her face is super short, which is what I wanted. So she'll always look like a puppy and she'll always have that kind of puppy vibe. Um, she had puppy energy for the first two and a half years. She still has it. So I'm, I'm certain that she's, you know, she's always going to be that kind of element, but this is her third heat cycle. She's not a puppy anymore. She's two and a half years old. So I think there were some people like, Oh my gosh, we felt like you just got Ruffy. We've been following her and it seems like you just got her. Is it too early to be breeding her? So of course I researched this. She's been through two successful heat cycles thus far. Nothing was wrong. She's a great little, she has great composition in terms of her hormones. So this was the third heat cycle, which happens about six to eight months. Every six to eight months they go into heat. And so this is the one we decided to breed. Um, who's the father? <laughs> okay. There's a lot of information on the father. His name is Giovanni. He lives in Salt Lake City. He's the cutest dog ever. He's honestly so cute. Um, he, there's two posts there that show him as a puppy. He has little white fur. He has white fur around the face and he has like the Irish spotting. So it's a tuxedo look. Um, and then the second thing is that he had, of course, a couple of the genes that I was looking for. So very specific, I was looking for a gene that would ensure that the puppies have straight or wavy fur. I really needed this straight fur because I didn't want them to shed and I didn't want them to be non-hypoallergenic. So I also wanted this look in terms of that classic golden fur, but in a very small puppy. So of course we have the opportunity here to design dogs and I know it's so silly to hear the, the word designer dog, but there's so much amazing medical technology now so that you can actually look and spend your time and get exactly what you want. So chances are, and I won't say 100%, but chances are most of Ruffy's litter will have straight fur. You can see Giovanni's fur um, on Instagram. It's so cute and his spotting and his cute little snoot. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. They played. And they, when we left, they ended up giving each other little kisses. <laughs> it was so sweet. What you doing? You want to say hi? <laughs> Look at her little tail. Um, let's see. That brings me to the next question. How did this happen? Um, because Ruffy is such a small little frame, people were asking, is it dangerous? Is this something that you just put, you know, two dogs in the backyard and they ended up, you know, the old school way mating, which happens to be called tying apparently. And it can take anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. Sometimes there's problems with that because the boy dog can get kind of nervous and not know why he's essentially attached to this other dog. And um, then that can lead to problems for the girl dog in terms of damage to her uterus. So no, the dogs did not tie. Um, I'm sure there's some breeders that continue to allow dogs to tie, but I felt like this whole process, I really wanted this to be conscious breeding. And I know that, um, I know that there was more risk for Ruffy if the dogs would tie. So back to what I was saying about the fertility process for women and humans is the exact same. So you choose a fertility space in the veterinary, a veterinarian clinic, you progesterone test, you time ovulation, and then during that time, you set up two to three inseminations, progesterone test the morning, make sure that she's within the window, um, and then you do actual insemination. There's both dogs are there. <clears throat> the cool thing about this was that Giovanni and Ruffy met each time 
and they played together like it was so sweet they played together like litter mates for 20 or 30 minutes and it was so adorable and I think that um, the reason for that the reason I think that's so successful is the dogs get to know each other their their hormones their pheromones interact and then of course when the time for breeding comes then you have the veterinarian and she takes her, him into a separate room, collects, and then does immediately the insemination with Ruffy. So that's the process. I know there's many of you out there that were scared, <laughs> were scared that Ruffy was just in the backyard, you know, uh, old school style. And um, no, that's certainly not the way it was. It was much more intentional, much more planned. Um, and I think that I, I really like what I've read about conscious breeding um, with the idea that you have the chromosome data, you have everything at your disposal to make really, really good decisions about how you're breeding. Um, all parties involved uh, have all of the information. We're, we're able to make good decisions and bring healthy puppies into the world from, from the, uh, the get-go. I have to say this because it's funny. So many people wrote back, does this now make you a grandma? I'm just going to take a moment of silence for that one. That's, that's a moment of silence. <laughs> um, moving on. How many are in the litter? Uh, four, definitively. Two of those are reserved. Um, six, potentially. So if you are thinking about this and you want to chat with me, I would suggest that we chat sooner than later. Uh, then other funny comments were, how do you spell puppuccino? So after the appointment, Ruffy and I were so excited. We went, it was a beautiful day here in Seattle. We went to Starbucks and we got a puppuccino. Uh, I posted about that. Apparently there's so many ways to spell puppuccino. I don't even know. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just cappuccino but you put pup in front of it at least that's what I did but I think people were like is this the way you spell puppuccino like as an interest like oh wow it's a thing now um and if, if anyone's done a pup cup or a puppuccino before at Starbucks you know it certainly is a thing it certainly is a thing um I'm trying to think of what else I'll post this video and then as comments or suggestions or questions come in, I'll do another video. Um, I would love to hear if this is helpful. If you guys want to just write, yes, helpful underneath or, um, or not, that would be, <laughs> that would be helpful for me. And, um, I'm so excited about everything and Ruffy is healthy and happy and her little belly is growing tremendously. She's much hungrier yesterday and today after this appointment. So I think this appointment was like, kind of a, a turning point for her too and that she was like oh I am having puppies like I need to get some food in my belly <laughs> thank you to everyone for all your support and your well wishes and um stay tuned because I will be posting uh the progress as we move forward